Okay, welcome back. We're gonna do a real quick one, a lap joint. Two, two inch pieces, all right? Four inches uh, across, maybe six inches across. This happens to be quarter inch material. I'm going to put this halfway overlapped on each other, okay? None of this stuff where I can't weld the back side, right? There's a lap joint on one side, but no lap joint on the other. Make sure you have these halfway overlapped so you can get a lap joint on both sides. First off, we'll go ahead and tack these right on the ends. All right, so we have our two inch pieces halfway overlapped. So now we have an opportunity to do a lap joint on both sides. Uh, this is quarter inch material. Right now I have it on 3 16 settings or so, uh, but you could up that up uh, to closer to quarter inch or halfway between quarter inch and 3 16 All right, uh, again, make sure your table's nice and clean so you have a good conductivity. And again, my motion, I like to go just a straight push and I'm going to watch that puddle build up and I want to bridge the gap from the top of that joint on the top down to the bottom joint, make sure it's nice and consistent and even across. So if you go quick enough and you leave a consistent edge, that's fine. If you go slow enough and you melt that edge consistently, that's fine. What we don't want is a, a weld to belly out and roll over. We want a nice smooth transition from our top plate to our bottom plate. That's going to account for a good gun angle and a good work angle. So I usually have about 15 degree push and on a flat or a, a horizontal lap joint like this, I'm probably gonna be somewhere around a 40 degree gun angle. And I will just come right towards me just like that. You wanna be able to watch that puddle. You wanna be able to see it melt the top edge and the bottom edge. Again, we wanna clip our wire, make sure it has a good crisp point on it and helps it get us a good start. I'll start again with my gun about 15 degrees back and about 40 degrees up. I'll put the wire right on that bottom edge. We want that wire to go right there. Point in on that edge. That's where you wanna shoot it. You don't wanna hit the wire up here or on this face. You want it right down in on that edge. And you can go straight in front of you if that's how you're more comfortable. I like to go a little bit diagonal for me. Again, slightly pushing, 40 degree angle up. We're gonna come right across. our lap joint. First one's right there. A good even transition from the top plate down to the bottom plate. All right, the plate was a little bent right here so we lost the edge a little bit. But there we go, nice and smooth. We're gonna do a little bit of a manipulation on the other side. This is just to kind of get used to moving the puddle around. Usually we want to start with going straight. After a while, you can start doing cursive ease. If you don't know what cursive writing is, I'm really sorry, uh, but you're gonna do a loopy loop essentially. And you're gonna go from the bottom all the way hit that top edge and down and top edge and down. And you're just gonna try and make a consistent pattern all the way down. And it helps maybe go a little bit quicker. do a nice consistent pattern you can see that it 
it just has a nice frequency to it, a nice consistency to it. Again, these brown islands, that's just the silica or glass cleaning the metal for me. And those will come off when you quench it or you brush it. Uh, if you're gonna paint stuff, I would definitely knock those off ahead of time. But there's your cursive E pattern, and there is your straight pattern. For your first signature on this, I want you to do a straight one. Just get used to going straight. As you get better at going straight and uh, more consistent, then you're allowed to start doing manipulations. I want you to learn how to crawl a little bit first and then start learning how to walk and run. Manipulating your gun is more of an advanced technique that makes it a little bit more challenging uh, to keep things going right. So I tend to like to go straight beads and after I master straight beads, then I'll start adding a little twist in the wrist uh, or a little manipulation with the gun and we'll end up with something consistent. Now when you start manipulating, you just, it's all about consistency. That, that's the name of the game when it comes to manipulating the weld puddle. If you can be consistent as you go up or down or in and out, back and forth, you're gonna end up with more of a consistent result. If you're a little bit all over the place and you can't quite keep a straight line, it's not gonna help you out very much. All right, good luck on the lap joint.